Hello everyone, my name is Martina Taylor. I'm a native of Sardis, Mississippi. And during the pandemic, um, I just decided to take the negative energy that was given to me and use it to do something conducive and productive. So I created an artwork series titled The Black Crown Collective. That's a celebration of us, about us, and for us, and the um, passage of the Crown Act, which is the law that prohibits natural hair discrimination. So this work is about the beauty, the art, and the aesthetics of us. To be our authentic selves. Because I don't know if anybody else perceives hair as an, a form of expression, but I do. So I was excited to learn that now there is a parameter in place that says hey, their hair shouldn't define their level of professionalism or the level of intellect or the level of just being. You know, our hair should be as free as, you know, the, all of the other things that are natural about the world and life. So I was very happy to learn that this law was passed and it will now just prevent people from using discrimination or discriminatory laws, regulations, and restrictions to stop our access to spaces where we can, you know, bloom and flourish and be the creative beings that we are. All right, welcome back to the Black Crown Collective. We're here live at the uh, Memphis Black Arts Alliance Historic Firehouse, and I have with us this evening. Ms. Christian Kirk. Thank you, Ms. Kirk. Thank you so much. Can you tell me what the Black Crown Collective mean for you and this work that Martina Taylor has done? You know, it's a celebration of our culture and something that's so um, essential to our identity as black women, our hair. I love how she incorporated different textures and um, it's a celebration of the whole genre, the whole kind of gamut of what black hair can be. And it's just a really beautiful thing. You know, one of the things that Memphis Black Arts Alliance really strives to do is um, increase the visibility for um, young artists, for aspiring artists. And it, this just shows you what an opportunity like this can do for an artist. I mean, her work is wonderful, so putting it on the platform where more people can see it is exactly what we aim to do. So I have with me now Ms. Evelyn Young, a board member for the Memphis Black Arts Alliance. Ms. Young, can you tell me, what does this Crown Collective Art Show mean for you and the Memphis Black Arts Alliance? Well, I moved to Memphis about 11 years ago. I am from Omaha, Nebraska, and my move to Memphis has created for me just a new awareness of my black culture. Having grown up in the Midwest, I didn't know the suffrage of being a black woman. And so moving to Memphis as a 51-year-old black woman, a senior black woman, this exhibit right here just for me teaches me again just the beauty number one of my hair all of these portraits or these designs show me something about this hair that I have that is kinky as wonderful can be but my move to Memphis just kind of personifies what Miss Martina's art exhibit shows and it is a creativity that says we are who we are and we can be what we can be and my life in Memphis over the last 11 years has given me the opportunity through my work with the Memphis Black Arts Alliance to share that with these young artists the young people that we engage with on a regular basis we are an incubator for the culture and for the skill and the talent that they have and it gives me honor to be able to share that with the young people I have with me now Ms. Lawanette Williams, the Executive Director of the Memphis Black Arts Alliance, art show by artist Martina Taylor. Ms. Williams, tell me, what does it mean for you to be able to exhibit something of this magnitude at the Memphis Black Arts Alliance and to support young black artists? Well, actually, because we are the Alliance, we are the place that is the, I guess you would say we're the first incubator here in the city for black artists. And because of that, we want to keep that tradition alive. We want to celebrate our black artists, the new emerging ones, as well as the ones that have gone on and do great things. So we keep it open and vast through our different programmings that we do. Uh, we have our legacy uh, things that we do, but we also have our emerging and promoting things that we do as well. So it's part of who we are. 
Thank you so much. So having a show here like the Crown Collective, what does this mean for black women? It's just for me right now because this organization was founded by a black woman 40 years ago. And as you know, with most arts organizations in the city, when they leave, the organization actually disbanded. But this particular black woman was so powerful in her forethought that she sought to get the success. And I mean, she hunted for one too. Because I wasn't coming easy. But she came and got me. And I recognized the fact that we needed to continue to be powerful, strong, equipped black women to try to foresee our artists going further and further. Not only just here in the city, but throughout the world. Absolutely. Uh, and let's call that uh, visionary name. That visionary's name is Benny Nelson West. Yes, absolutely. <laughs>